Well, what you need to know is you're going to only see two candidates as far as qualified candidates, and that excludes any write-in candidates. President Joe Biden from the Democratic side, former president and Republican challenger Donald Trump, setting themselves on up for a collision course of that rematch that we all anticipate, but it's looking like we're officially going to get. I want to call your attention to this map right here. This is the 2020 Electoral College map, and a lot of the reason the president won the election is he flipped a lot of the states that Trump ended up winning in 2016, most notably the state of Georgia, marking the first time since 1992 that a Democratic candidate had secured the peach state. Now, I talked with political correspondent from NBC and MSNBC, Steve Kornacki, and he told me how that happened. I think to me the key is there's a lot of ingredients that went into it, but it is, you know, the Atlanta metro area, um, those suburbs that are just the suburban counties that are growing just, you know, so rapidly. It's one of the fastest growing areas in the entire United States. Um, they're growing and they're transforming demographically. And then even among folks who aren't just uh, recent transplants to the area, I think there's there was a bit of a, um, a move, a shift away from Donald Trump. A lot of these counties had been, uh, if you went back in time, you know, just 20 years ago, you know, maybe a little bit more in some cases, but you know, 20 years ago, these were just very staunchly Republican areas generally. Uh, and they've moved, um, you know, not just toward competitiveness, but now towards being blue counties. Gwinnett County, you know, is a good example. In 2016, Donald Trump lost Gwinnett, but it was only by six points. By 2020, it exploded. It was almost 20 points. Um, you look at Cobb County, you know, Hillary Clinton carried that in 2016 by, you know, a, a hair, maybe a point or two. Uh, by 2020, Biden was carrying Cobb County by 14 points. So shifts of that magnitude in counties that size. Um, and even if you went a little bit further out from Atlanta, you went north to, you know, like a Cherokee County, um, that still is a deeply red county. Also, you know, fast growing, um, but it's much less red now than it was uh, back in 2016. I think Trump had won Cherokee by almost 50 points uh, in 2016. It's one of the in the entire United States. It's one of the biggest uh, vote producing counties for Republicans. Now, if you are going to head out to the polls this morning or any time throughout the day, make sure you bring that valid Georgia ID, any ID that will show your name, your address and your date of birth. It can be your driver's license, your passport or even a library card. And if you're not sure where to vote or just need a refresher, you can contact your local elections office and stick around because coming up at 630, we're going to be back and going to hear from Steve about how former President Donald Trump can potentially shift the state back red. Until then, live in the studio, I'm Jay Douglas, Madison Riley, back over to you guys.